engine is over 1,000 horsepower. Think about that before you cross the tracks. Stop for trains and trams. control. No bladder or bowel control. No feeling below your chest. No sexual function. You're a T5 paraplegic. I'm not. It's not good. <laughs> Wear it or where the cost.
special pink shorts made up. Yeah, hands are gold. Here we go, lads. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about, mate. You just make this stuff up. Thank you, boys. Save me from these geniuses. such thing as yet is <laughs> hello I'd like you to put your hand up to the screen and place it on mine Now, if you drive when you've been drinking and you kill someone, this will be as close as you get to your family for a very long time. Have you ever wondered why it's such a crime to drive after a few beers? Five minutes after your first drink, alcohol reaches your brain and starts to interfere with the way cells communicate. First, you lose the ability to assess risks. Then it affects your capacity to make decisions. This becomes a serious danger when you drive. You can still change gear and steer, but what's missing are those higher skills that handle things like emergencies. Most nights you'll get home, but if something goes wrong, you're gone. Yeah, we've got the lucky glove. 
gloves? Yeah, yeah, they're in the bag. Oh, all right. So that, you know, those are my father's gloves. They're your granddad's gloves. Oh. Oh, it's just a few k's over, eh? That's where a lot of the crashes are happening, sir. Yeah, but everyone does that speed along here. You have a safe trip. Not our lucky day, eh? What's this? Is that the same cop that gave you the ticket? Yeah, it is. What the hell's this? What's like that? It's a dress. Look, I know it's a dress. What the, what the hell's it for? You think I'm just going to let you out of here wearing that? Oh, you idiot. You're wrapping it. I'm, I'm an idiot, am I? What's going on? You think I'm going to let you all up to you? What do you mean? Stop it. What are what? you doing? Who's going to be there? Uh, who? I don't know what you mean. Please, just let go. You oh! stupid! Oh! Oh! Let me! Who are you getting all dressed up for? Who the hell are you trying to impress? You, you're making me stupid. No, you're just making me. Now tell me, or you know what's coming next. So you could use this. Right, come here. So he says, if she's not good enough for her family, she's not good enough for mine. <laughs> Which brings me to my little princess. It was certainly good enough for me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now, today's the day that I hand over Melissa to Tom. You be careful, son. She was quite the little screamer when she was young. <laughs> Oh, forgive an old bloke from getting a little bit sentimental, but I look at Melissa today and I still remember the first words I ever said to her after sex. Don't tell mum. <laughs> <laughs> so, in closing, I'd like you all to be upstanding. To Melissa. I'm going to miss Daddy's special little girl. And Tom, give you a few tips later, son. <laughs> To Melissa and Tom.
Duffer shot, wasn't it? Yeah. What happened there? I don't know. What club should I use now? Uh, that's our five. What are you going to putt now, are you? Yep. Right. What are those for? Oh, they're uh, putting pills, you know. Go on, get on with it. Oh, how about that? Well done. Oh, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it, eh? Yep. Yeah. Did you play well today, Grandpa? No, I didn't think I played very well today. But you did. Oh, well, let's say we do the same thing next Saturday morning, eh? Yep. We continue now to worship almighty God as we say our last goodbyes to Todd but yet just for a little while until eternity reunites us. We commit his body to the earth, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. When we drive fast, we don't realize the danger we're in. If you're driving at 90 kilometers per hour and you crash, the speed your body impacts is the same as falling from the first floor of a building. At 110 kilometers per hour, the impact is the same as falling from the fifth floor. And at 125 kilometers per hour, the impact is like falling from the ninth floor. There are 224 holes in each of the ceiling tiles in this room. That flower there's 32 pedals. The northbound train is three minutes late, and there's five carriages. The nurse will take eight steps to reach the stairwell door. That man next door hoiks after every time he coughs. By now, I could have walked home from the party 6,011 times. My mate had five beers over three hours. He said he was okay to drive. And because I got in the car with them, I now have a zero percent chance of ever moving again.
This, um, this came in the mail for you today. What is it? It's a speed camera fine. We're caught doing 126 cuttings. It's the same day, David. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Don't say sorry to me. Say sorry to his kids. Man of the match is Jeff. <laughs> Good idea. Barbie in my place, all right? That should have went to me, man. I placed oh, pretty hard out. Man, I don't think we've got an envious boy over Actually, here. your mother dresses you better next Saturday. Someone wants my meat back. Go do the oh. cooking. <laughs> Sweet ass. I just... Hello? <laughs> Is it? Oh, George, got pulled up at the checkpoint on Brown Street, bro. Brown Street. Brown Street. Back Street. Okay, well, I'm going to get this thing on then. Hey, what yeah, the girls are leaving. <laughs> oh. You're right. We love you, Ash. No, you're right to drive, mate. Yeah, babe. You sure. Come on. What's going on Ashley, man? Oh, man, he's beautiful. <laughs> Don't forget, man. Go that blinking. Yeah, other. yeah, yeah. Okay. Shit. Uh, <laughs> you guys are right? No, <laughs> Jeff. The dude's dead, Jeff! No. Get up! We just killed someone! You think I go out with my mates just to make your life a misery? Shut up! Do you? Shut up! When was the last time you put your arms around me? Leave me alone. Have I got a sign around my face that says I'm fucking no! invisible? No! Am I? No! Am I invisible? No! Shut up! Just shut up! Leave me alone! Oh, shut up! Look! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Listen, I'm going to the best that I can! <laughs> Do you think I go out with my mates just to make your life a misery? Shut up! Who are you? Shut up! When was the last time you put your arms around Just me? Leave me alone! Have I got a sign on my face that says I'm no, invisible? No, Am I? No. Am I invisible? No. Just shut up! No. Shut up! Leave me alone! Just shut up! Me. Do you think I go out with my mates just to make your life a misery? Shut up! Do you? One, I had just begun. When I was two, I was nearly new. When I was three, I was hardly me. When I was four, I was not much more. When I was five, I was just alive. But now I am six. I'm as clever as clever. 
I'll think I'll be six now, forever and ever. He's going to be all right, isn't he? I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. What? What? What are you looking at? Stop staring at me! Get the hell off me! Get the hell off me! Get off! Ah, get off me, night! Ah, get off! Maybe you got lucky once. Even twice. But drinking and driving is like Russian roulette. Sooner or later you're going to lose. Think before you drink, before you drive. of people are killed on Victoria's roads and this is how we react it's time we changed when I was in prison I got uh, slashed in the face cutthroat razors here here eight and a half inch butcher's knife there I stick up the back there If you drink and you drive and you're unfortunate enough to hit somebody, you want to pray to God you don't ever go to prison.
The strokes made everything hard, but I mean, you cope, don't you? Yeah. My brain still works. It just doesn't connect to my mouth anymore. We, um... We do have hope that he may walk again. But, um... um you cannot imagine what it's like not being able to communicate. It's hard for the kids to see their dad like this, you know? I mean, he's there, but... Um... If I could just talk, I'd tell Jen and the kids I'm sorry. I know, love, I know. And I'll tell anyone who'd listen, don't smoke. you hit something is determined by the speed you're traveling. In Dave's case, the damage to his car is obvious. So let's forget about that and take a look at Dave. On impact, his legs stiffened, shattering both ankles, causing a serious break. Even though he was wearing a seatbelt, his organs shifted violently, causing serious internal bleeding. After his car stopped, Dave's brain kept moving, slamming into his skull with enough force to burst blood vessels, leaving him in a coma. When he wakes, he'll have to learn to walk and talk all over again. At the speed limit, he'd have suffered minor cuts and bruises. At just 5Ks over, it's a whole different story. Authorised by the State Government, Perth. This is my summer holiday. We're all going on a summer holiday. No more working for a week or two. Fun. As you can see, very organised. Summer <laughs> holiday. No more worries for me or you. What, Dad? For a week or two. We're going where the sun shines brightly. We're going where the sea is blue. We've seen it in the movies. Well, let's see.
If this cruel and cold-blooded practice were to happen to humans, the perpetrators would be jailed immediately. That's why I support Sea Shepherd. that confuse you. I'm the one that raises the whip to your already racing heart. I am the tightening of your chest, the snowballing worries that feel like they might become an avalanche and can just bury you. I am the obsessive and I'm the compulsive. I'm the voice, you know, the one. It's always questioning, questioning, questioning. And I am every single staring eye that watches you. So, now that we have become acquainted, what are you gonna do about it?
Thursday afternoon in a 60 zone. This 34-year-old motorcyclist was on his way home. It's our job to work out why he never got there. The rider broke his neck on impact here, having crashed into this car, which is turning right. By analysing the impact, we know he hit the car at 30 kilometres per hour. And these marks on the road tell us that he skidded for 20 metres, having braked hard here. When he first reacted, he was doing 68. But let's change one small thing. At 60, he'd have stayed in control and reached this point a moment later. The car would have cleared his path and he'd be home by now. You decide on your speed, the physics decides whether you live or die. Get through this. <laughs> it was disgusting. Parsley. 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 Parsley
you see 120. Clear to start, Marilyn. We've done really well. We're going to be there in 10 minutes. Okay? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Boys, look who's here. All right. Hey, hey what's up? Hey, 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 nice. hey, Muzz back from the day. Muzz, get one of these, Danny. Cheers. 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 Great to be back. Cheers, Muzz. G'day, Karen. You're lowering your standards, Liz. I didn't know you served murderers in here. Oh, yeah. Steady on, Karen. Drink up, boys. I'm sure Murray will give you a lift home. He's good like that. Don't worry, Mas. It's no fault, mate. Shut up, Dennis. You've been put over today. Your speed's have been checked on later. Do you have any reason for speeding at all today? Well, no. No, no I mean, 120 is like, it's not fast, not on this road. I mean, I hadn't seen one of the, the uh, signs. I was just overtaking a truck. Bye bye. Thanks. 120 kilometers an hour. The 
It's not just the physical injuries. You have to learn to cope with that. It's the sheer waste and the stench of alcohol that stays with you. I'm just ringing to um, inform you that your daughter, Lucy, has been involved in a car accident. Oh, you all need to come down. It's probably real bad, her, you know, a car smashed. Where are you saw, this is uh, dry. Well, that looks very messy. Okay, you can't go in there at the moment, mate. I've got to go in here. Do you want to come in with us? Watch the other two for a second. She's okay, don't worry. The left leg has been damaged quite severely, and there's a possibility that she may lose that leg. We'll also scan her head to look at whether there's any head injury as well. They drink too much and then they drive. They smash up their cars and the people they're supposed to care about. And if they survive, they're the ones that have to live with that. And that's the real tragedy. If you drink, then drive. You're a bloody idiot. Shooting up drugs is like playing Russian roulette. Go on. You could OD, die from blood poisoning, or get brain damage. If that's not risky enough, there's now a new player in the game. AIDS. Use a shared needle and you run a very real risk of catching AIDS. You go first. One shot from a contaminated needle is enough to kill you. I don't want to play. One shot. When I grew up, I want to be a teacher in high school. I would teach English and get married and have three children. I reckon it'll be great to be a fireman. You get to drive the engine and you get to go and burning buildings and save people and stuff. I help mum make scones and cakes. So when I grow up I'll be a, I'll, I'll have a restaurant and all my friends will come there and my mum and dad. I'm in the under nights and I'm a forward I usually score a goal every match. <laughs> One day I'd want to play for Australia if I'm good enough. Authorised by the Commonwealth Government, Canberra.
Can I look at this? Yeah, cool. Have a look at this. Thanks. Thanks. No. 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 Come on, you guys, get in. What do you reckon? You know I don't trust him after he's had a few. It's easy just to go, Nick. It's only ten minutes. Exactly. Come on, Nick. Yes. Jess, you can touch her. Give her a good smile, eh? Um, try not to cry too much. You upset her. I've got to go. Yeah, I'll we'll see you again. Chloe's got to go to work. Yeah. We'll see you soon. With brain injury, the worst thing was losing all my old friends. Let me help. No, Nikki, it's just juice. No, quick, no, Nikki. Mom. I wouldn't be like this if I just said no and not got into that car. in here. It's so hot and cold. I'm stuck and I can't turn. I'm getting so big now that it hurts to stand. And I've got these big sores. There are flies on them. I've got a really sore tummy. It is commonly accepted that a pig has the intelligence of a three-year-old child. Please help us end the horrific practices of the Australian pork industry. Be a voice for animals at animalsaustralia.org. They always take my babies. We have just baked a chocolate cake. I think that's Daddy home from work. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Daddy. Mmm. <laughs> Would you like some chocolate cake? Oh, yes, please. Watch it. It's just a cup. Whoops, a daisy. Good, Mum. What's the problem? Daddy's playing some silly games, isn't he? Take the <laughs> We started playing cricket and I hit the ball so high that Uncle Mark, he forgot where he was going. He tried oh. to catch the ball and landed face first in the mud. It was so funny, Dad. He should have been there. Since this campaign first aired 10 years ago, Victorians have heard the message and 200,000 fewer smoke. Will you be next to quit? Every cigarette is doing you damage. Smoking creates blood clots which can cause strokes. 
Some strokes kill, blind, or paralyze. Others you don't even know you're having. This is the result of a minor stroke in a smoker, aged 38. Every cigarette is doing you damage. This is how your child feels after losing you for a minute. Just imagine if they lost you for life. Dave. Dave, you all right, man? <laughs> of course he's not all right. How does it feel? You killed your friend last night. I'm sorry, man. It's too damn late to apologize. You were showing off, speaking down the road, tailgating, running reds. Completely out of control. Come on, Your friend was telling you to go faster when you smashed into a 
behind us? Yeah, they just ran a red light. <laughs> What have we done? Jeez, oh, I must have hit her. Oh, 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 Somebody, that's what we've done. Oh, no! The baby! There's five minutes more. Okay. If one in every six Australians has the makings of a bloodthirsty killer lurking inside them, how do you know you're not one of them? Doctors call it a stroke. But as Australia's second biggest cause of death, I like to call it a silent serial killer. Oh sure, some of you will be lucky to escape with brain damage. Look, there goes the ability to talk, to comprehend, and while we're here, control your bladder. But for 12,000 of you every year, stroke won't just toy with your brain, but obliterate it. So ends the lesson. And your life. No, I'm sorry. sorry. You know they're going to Kirk's class. What, Darren? Nah, who's mate? The one with the funny Oh, him. He's such a geek. Well, hey, Jack, Come on, what did you get? Fix is so cool. He's at the weed, mate. He's got a haircut like you, Dad. Uh, <laughs> well, the girls like him so much. Maybe you should get him. Don't pick her up, don't pick her up. I, I, I don't know what to oh, do. Is she breathing? I don't know. I don't, can you do something? You stay with her, I'll call an ambulance. Hey. Hello. Hey. Um, someone's been over. An ambulance. She's not breathing. And James. I was driving the car. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. <laughs> In the next few minutes, you could make a cup of tea, go to the loo, or see to the kids. Keep watching. took just under three minutes. Never ever underestimate the speed of fire. Get out. Call the fire service and for God's sake, stay out. Is everything all right? I say that, Mike. Mm. Yeah, hang on. I'll just get dead. Oh, booze bass, eh? Yeah. Ah, it's a bit early, isn't it? All right, Billy. Yeah, thanks for the tip-off. <laughs> it's down the road in Linden Street. <laughs> oh, I thought we were supposed to get a warning. Oh, we just did, mate. Right, I'm off. Thanks for your help, mate. Go on, one more's not gonna kill you. Hey, I'm still capable of driving. How about you? I've been driving home a long time, mate, and nothing's happened to me yet. <laughs> I've got to go. See if else. You wrote that? Yeah, no worries. Maybe I should have passed that last beer. 
There was a stuff that was not in all those bloody mountains. Yeah, um, Billy reckons you ought to cut across the highway at Ferguson's Road. Did you? Hey, Ted. Is that Billy's car down there? Nah, no way. Bloody funny if you did get caught that way. <laughs> <laughs> G'day. Mm. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Hello, Paul. Oh, no, thanks, Paul. Hey, he was just here if he's... Yeah, right, eh? Drink up. Here you go, darling. There's another beer. Okay, sweetheart, let's go and see Daddy. Okay, she's fine. Everything's going to be. I'm so oh, sorry. Baby! Yeah, Robert. No, no. He's got that freaky Nancy. Remember freaky Nancy? She's going to be. Oh, no, I'm sorry, babe. Pop up now. Got to go. Got to cook tea for Gary and the kids. Sure. Yeah. My baby, she's fine, really. Turn around and look. You've hit your head. Please help me. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, see you, mate. See you later. Are you sure you want to drive, mate? Yeah, it's not far. Thanks, mate. See ya. Found guilty of driving with excess blood alcohol and careless driving causing death. Society judges these actions harshly and so must I. You've been convicted on both these charges and remanded for sentencing. Stand down. I've got some bad news. The motorcyclist has died from the injuries he received in the accident. From here, Craig, we have to wait for the result of the blood alcohol test to decide what charges you'll face. We think he's going to lose his licence, which means he'll lose his job. The insurance company aren't going to pay out. I don't know when we're going to be able to fix the current debt. He just won't talk to me about it. You've been found guilty of driving with excess blood alcohol and careless driving causing death. You've been convicted on both these charges and remanded for sentencing. Stand down. Hello? Yes, it is. Mr. and Mrs. Endicott, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your son has died as a result of the accident. so sorry. <laughs> if there's anything that we can do. You've been found guilty of driving with excess blood alcohol and careless driving causing death. Society judges these actions harshly and so must I. You've been convicted on both these charges and remanded for sentencing. Stand down.
This is the body of a drowning victim. If you think it looks terrible on television, imagine it next to your swimming pool. I'm so sorry. I thought there was time. He just pulled out. I don't have time to stop. Well, come on, mate. It was a simple mistake. I don't know if I was going a bit slower. Please. I've got my boy in the back. I'm going too fast. I'm sorry. What do you want to be when you go up? A fireman. And what about you? A footballer. Ah, oh, cool. Do you like girls? No, do you like them? No, girls are gross. Yes, you do want to marry them. No, I don't. Yes, you do you want to make babies with them. No, I don't. I'll never do that stuff. Why not? You love them. Because this is as old as I get. I don't even get it on with a chick, mate. Let alone get married, have kids. You try and impress Sarah over there in your new car one night. Only thing is, you lose control. <laughs> and guess who your passenger is egging you on? You're weird. Come on, I'll race your heart. It's your fault, eh? Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Do you always drive us fast? Shumanta. Three years. Well, also I've done more damage to my car than yours. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
call an ambulance! Too. Do you never do anything for good? Delicious. 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 Delicious.
reverse speed cameras. Mate, I'll just do it, pal. Oh, what are you trying on with, Chris? Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right, all right. Huh? Hey, guys, you knock it off. All right. Hey, I told you to knock yeah. it off, all right? Get out, you idiot. We were following them, you know? We're all mates, all dead. You think it can't happen, but why these guys? Why this town? Bring them in. Mr. and Mrs. McClough? This is Dr. Fletcher. Um, would you come with me for a minute, please? Is it Darren? Yes, it's about Darren. Just wait here. Is he all right? Just come in. Monday, Sean. Hi. Hi. How's work? Oh, full on. Get me home. I need some sleep. Oh, I thought we'd go up the tonight. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, come on. The roads will be deserted. I'll have to call Mum. At two in the morning? <laughs> She's going to love you. Well, I'll call her first thing. Talk to me, hun. No. Yeah, come on. No. Pull over if you're tired. a bit late, aren't you, matey? Oh, no worries, there's plenty of time. Uh, it's after one, I'll see you later, okay? Yeah, okay, mate, see you. <laughs> now, you drive safely? Yeah, always do, Steve-o. <laughs> what a morning. What a week. Hey, Ben. Yeah. It's good to get back to work for a bit of a rest. Mm. Can we get some to eat? Yeah, sure. Yeah, no worries, mate. Let's just get a bit of distance behind us first, shall we? Okay, but uh, let's keep going for a bit, eh? No! 
What's he doing the weekend? I was thinking of going down the coast for a bit of a fish. He's past. No way, mate. He should stay in the team. He's having a rough trot now. He'll be fine. He's clutching out, clutch out. What are you going to do with those? I'm going home, mate. Well, I haven't driven with the pub in years. Yeah? Nah. Ring the missus to pick me up. Help me in now. <laughs> Call a cab? No, nah, I'm just around the corner. Gotta go, mate. See it. You up it in? Walking. Hey? Walking. Stand on the back line. Take the hat off, don't ask for cigarettes, you'll get them later. Okay, cuffs off. Listen in, when you hear your name called, I want your date of birth. Paul Oakley. 10-7-71. Five years with a three year minimum. Joe McGuinness. I am 7 68. Sentence, 12 months. Scott Shoebridge. 27-9-72. Okay, whilst you're at this prison, if you have any concerns about your safety, see one of the staff members and we'll deal with it. Sorry. You keep saying that. I got some news for you. Sharon and I are gonna have another one. They just kept buying them, you know. Excuse me, are you the driver? No. Still no response. The kid's dead. Let's look after the dead. You're gonna miss Aiden's first birthday? And Trent's? Trent, mate. What about the parole? You did plead guilty. Mm. I mean, surely they can see you're not a criminal. <laughs> Try not to think about it. <laughs> It'll be over before you even know it. <laughs> we'll have a whole new life. Oh. Family. You're a daddy. Oh. Oh, God. It's all right. you drive, the harder you hit and the more damage that you do. Physical evidence that we've gathered yes, suggests that you were travelling well in excess of 60. I'm going to get some of response. We want to have response. No hard sense. It's terribly sorry. No! No! I think you realise the uh, young lad's died. I'm going to take him off! It's speed. You can't call this an accident. That guy's got to live with this for the rest of his life. Don't fool yourself. Speed kills.
being the Alcohol plus plus massive head and chest injuries. He arrested twice in the ambulance. We've tried to resus, no response. Okay. Stop resus. This one's dead. Come on, they're doing everything they can. Okay. the school bus. Bye, Dan. Give me five. There you go. Bye. See ya. Back off the road, sweetheart. Do you reckon it's only 30 minutes into town from here? It's great. From the door to the office, it's 30 minutes. It's open road driving the whole way. You love it. <laughs> you do, don't you? I do. She hums this car, eh? Andrew, you all right? Yeah. What have we had? There was something. Okay. I don't know. I don't what know. the hell was it, Dave? Dave? Oh my God, please. Dave, what was it, mate? Just look around because I think we had a couple of kids, okay? <laughs> kids. Kids! Oh my God, no. Oh my God. Oh no, oh no! Get it out of my head. She, 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 she was only four, <laughs> and I killed her. Oh. Luke Robinson died in the early hours of yesterday morning when he lost control of his Holden Commodore on a road... The car was heading north along Anarchy Road when the driver lost control of the vehicle. Two passengers, a 19 and 14... Oh, you just... It's so vivid um, to see it. You know, I can picture the, the exact scene, um, and this is now you know, a couple of months later, so 
just watching the car as it started to roll, just watching the shoe fly out of the car, just the worst feeling that I had in my life. I'm always looking for answers to know if I can do more. If I, if I could have saved Luke, I, 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 I agonise that. I agonise how he died. Seeing the body lying under the tarp, knowing that there was a, a young person under there. I've, uh, I've got um, children of Luke's age and um, when you see that body come in here, it affects you. And to go there and see the look on that dad's face when he came out, it was a scene, you know, you just don't want to see again. You get a phone call. <laughs> and my answering machine picked it up. And I picked up the phone at the same time because I've got a phone in my room. But I could hear the echo through my house of her screaming. And um, she's just screaming at me, Luke's dead. Come here. Um, ben, who was in the car with Luke, he was really close with him and he just doesn't talk much anymore. I just felt empty. And just not sure what to do. It's always there, always think about it, about him, about how easy it is, it could happen to anyone. And like he never ever thought he would die speeding, and he did, but he just never thought he would. And now his poor family. Something inside you dies, you just feel like. I have to walk past his room in the morning and not wake him up to come to work. <laughs> and then oh, I have to go to work without my son beside me every day. So that night when he made that stupid decision, he took our life and his brother's life <coughs> away from us too. I'm just angry at him because he was driving that fast. If this car had kept his speed to 100k, here's where he would have stopped. If he'd stopped here, his wife wouldn't take the full impact of the crash and die instantly. If he'd stopped here, the last thing Sally will ever hear wouldn't be the sound of her own neck breaking. And Nikki wouldn't break several ribs and her collarbone. As for Jim, well, Jim could have avoided broken bones and a broken heart. But anyway, it's too late for all that now, because this isn't where it stops. It's where it all begins. Warning, the scenes of this film are based on true events. It contains graphic representations that may be offensive or disturbing to some viewers. It's all right, it's all right, don't, I don't need, you don't need to say I've got a 
little needle for you just to pop into the top of your leg. Yeah, okay. Back in a tick, all right? Okay, great. Oh, good. Is this a little more comfortable now? Yeah. 